All right, so now I'm being asked to factor completely again. So I look at the first uh, at this term, and the first thing I look at, uh, look for in factoring, is looking for a greatest common monomial. And I notice two goes into both of those numbers. So I'm going to factor out a two, and I'll be left with x squared minus 64. And so then. Since I have this squared, there's a possibility that I can factor it again. So we'll go back through the checklist. Is there another common monomial that goes into both those terms? No. Is this a difference of squares? Well, a difference of squares is, yeah, I like my candy. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, ha ha. No more sessions. All right. So a difference of squares is uh, when you have, most of the time, a binomial, which I have, and you have two perfect squares that are being subtracted. Well, x squared is a perfect square, 64 is a perfect square, and we're subtracting them. Therefore, we have a perfect square. difference of squares. So close. <laughs> All right. Now, a difference of squares will have two pairs of parentheses. I know one is going to have a an addition sign, one's going to have a subtraction sign. And now we're just taking the square root of x squared, which is x. The square root of 64 is 8. And then this 2 that's out on the porch doesn't go away. It just ends up on the outside, and we're done factoring.